this is Instructor Joy. Thank you for tuning in. This is the music that we're going to work on today. Uh, Latin Pinchicado is very very popular it is very unique uh, and always very very well received in any concert for us violinists I find the left hand Pinchicado one of the tricky one because it requires a, quite a bit of strength of your muscle finger muscle a little more strength a little more grip than what we would normally do so um, I'm gonna show you how to do that so now Normally, we accidentally uh, pluck string just because we move our finger too quickly. And that kind of pizzicato is just not loud enough. It's not going to be carried in the hole, so you have to exaggerate. So that the pits is very, very loud to your ears, that way that actually can, people can hear. The way you do that is, let's say second finger on E string. This is how you, your finger normally sit. But you would go a little extra inward this way, yeah. That way you can have a really good grip, like that. This is how you normally your finger normally sits, but you would go extra a little further this way, yeah. So you can have a little more good grip, like that. Then you would rotate your hand away from you, like this, this way. Just plucking alone, that's not enough. Almost like this. Yeah? So much is so sometimes the hand gets a little lower, uh, right below the fingerboard, like that. Okay? See that? Like that. So once you practice, then you will do the whole other finger, second and third finger. Three. And the pinky and the first finger. First finger I find it hard as well because there is a very little room between a uh, string and the fingerboard and so there's a, it's very hard to have a good grip so there's very little room for string to vibrate also between the string the string and the fingerboard. There's very little room for string to vibrate so it's, it's hard to pluck so make sure you do it a little harder, meaning you need to it's a quite a bit of force at the fingertip. By rotating, you're increasing the force of the fingertip even more, like that. Once you're done, then um, as you see, the pit, left hand pizzicato is just not just for the open string, but also we have to leave certain finger and pluck with the other. So a good example would be the very first one we play. The, we leave it second finger and then we plug with our thinking. Here, we have to be careful the fingertip, the plucking finger in this case, pinky has to be stronger and heavier than the sustaining finger in this case, second finger. Yeah, The movement is same, rotating. Maybe not as big as you would do open swing, but it's still kind of rotating away away from the fingerboard like that yeah and and then you have you might have seen also i throw the bow here and there because let's say if i want to play this though because there's no more finger unless i use my bow i i can't make it the pizzicato so we use the bow to create similar sound like pizzicato by just throwing when you do that it's easier to when you use it near the tip so create somewhat similar light uh, sound like left hand pizzicato so Yeah. 
Remember, um, this has a lot to do with a, a strong, strong uh, finger muscle. So you have to allow your muscle to grow and get stronger. I suggest that you start maybe a couple minutes, three, four minutes maximum. Try a little, gradually exercise your finger muscle for the left hand pizzicato. And then once you feel comfortable, uh, gradually increase the, uh, the minute. But you have to be really, really patient. You might get blisters at fingertip and sometimes a little bleeding, but that's part of the process. Just be patient and then allow, when you wait for a muscle to get stronger gradually, you should be able to do that. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again.